Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Stratton Natural. Well. In this tutorial, I'll show you the basic steps to learning how to edit your images using frequency separation in Photoshop. So, if I told you a beginner and you love to learn skin retouching using frequency separation in 10 minutes, this is the right video for you. So, simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if I told you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel. So, simply do that. And if I told you, you love to download the image, follow along, check the links in the description of this very video. So let's just get started. So in this we're just going to be learning and understanding frequency separation. And about frequency separation, it is a skin retouching technique that is going to divide the image into the colors and the textures. It is going to get this same image and divide it into the colors and textures. So when you combine both layers, that is colors and textures, and we edit the colors separate and the textures separate, we end up with a nicely edited image. So what you're going to do, I'm just going to come the background layer right here, make sure it is selected, then press Ctrl J, or you can use Command J twice, then double click on the layer to rename it, so you're going to name that to Low Frequency, other people call it the color layer, and you're going to name the upper layer to High Frequency, other people call it the texture layer, and after renaming that, hide the High Frequency layer and select the Low Frequency layer, so with this, you're just simply going to come to filter, come to blur, and come to Gaussian blur. Remember, in this layer, we only want to remain with the, with the colors. So we're just going to take the radius down and select the area of the skin that seems to have more texture. So you're just going to use this as a reference point. So make sure the preview is turned on. So left click on the radius slider and start taking it up. So we are going to stop at the point whereby we are just starting to lose out on the textures. So look right here and why you are also looking at the image. So you have to stop at the point where we are just starting to close out on the skin textures. So for your image, depending on the amount of details that you have in your photo, it is going to be determined right here by the amount of the radius to apply. So the more textures, the higher the radius and the less the details, the lower the radius you have to use. But you have to move the slider and look at the image accordingly. You don't have to cram this radius. So after doing that, just click OK. And after clicking OK, select the high frequency line now activate it. Simply come right here to image. Come to apply image right here and select it. So just come to layer. So basically the source is the name of the image. Come to the low frequency layer under the layers and select it. So since this is a 16-bit image, the blend mode has to be add. The scale is 2 and offset 0. Make sure the opacity is 100%, preserve transparency and mask are not checked. And you turn on the invert option and you see the, the textures on this gray layer, which is lacking colors. For an 8-bit image, the settings are going to be different. Select subtract, turn this off and make sure you type in 2 and offset 128. And make sure the invert option is not turned on and you see the same information. So if I told you have 8 here, it means you have to use these settings right here. So for my case, is add scale is two out just in that hit okay come and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to linear light and after doing that i'm just going to put this two in a group by selecting them and dragging them in this group icon and open up the group and you can see when i turn off the original image we have the texture the colors alone and the textures alone on different layers so when i combine both it's basically the same image so after i have done this the next thing is going to be smoothing out of the skin so to smooth out skin select the layer that is containing the skin tones and hide the high frequency line as soon as you hide it the image is going to look a little bit blurry so we're going to come to the brushes right here and select the mesa brush tool so just come and set it so whichever tool you select in photoshop the settings are always going to be on top right here so just come and make sure the hardness is set to zero click down there and select clean brush and we have two options right here. Select the second option that is clean brush after each and every stroke because you want Photoshop to automatically clean the brush as we're dealing with different colors within the skin. With the weight of 9%, load 75, mix 90, flat 100%, make sure sample all layers is not turned on. And after doing that, we just want to apply or mix or blend the transitions within the skin color. And to increase or decrease on the size of the mixer brush tool, you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard. So what I want to do, to mix a given area, you mix a color by left clicking and holding down and you paint the transitions just like that. And to mix on a new area, you release the left click button 
and left click once again and hold down and mix a new area just like that and while these colors are transitioning from one color to another use a small brush and blend those transitions so basically that is how you can use the mixer brush tool and one way to apply it better retouch at a distance and if at all the mixer brush tool is showing a plus icon press the caps lock key on the keyboard so have to keep on playing around with different sizes of the mixer brush tool depending on how big or how small the area you are trying to work on so i'll mix the highlight alone and mix right here come the nose area you can see i'm moving the brush according to the direction or how a given area is shaped but you can notice that the image is turning to look a little bit plastic but the more plastic it looks at this point the better the results are going to be remaining with so in comes the next area i'll move the brush in this up down kind of di direction rather so just like that come to this shoulder area and i'll basically mix just like that mix the brightest point of the shoulder just like that mix right here on the back area and you can by just doing that is even getting rid of the blemishes on the back but as you're applying this make sure you don't zoom all the way in because when you zoom all the way in it is going you're not going to be able to see the uneven skin tone transitions and you are going to be having difficulties to blend and you are basically going to take a long time trying to edit so after doing that just come and activate the high frequency layer you can so when you turn off the high frequency layer the textures are hidden and you end up with an oil like painting image but when you turn it on you can see the image still has the original skin textures so you can see before after the textures have been left intact in the image but we have perfected the skin tone so after doing that select the high frequency layer because we just want to remove the pimples or blemishes in the image so select the high frequency layer and now come and get the clone stamp tool right there make sure the mode is normal or pass in the flat hundred percent make sure align the selected right here or it is checked and the sample is currently here because textures and blemishes are part of the high frequency layer which has been selected so we have to zoom into the image to see the blemishes better and how to remove for example this pimple we hold down the option key on the keyboard for mac then for windows it is the alternate key on the keyboard you hold it down and left click on a clean area near the blemish then left click over the blemish to remove it or to replace it with clean skin so just remove most of the blemishes and take your time as you're trying to clean up or remove these pimples or skin imperfections and blemishes so i think we are almost done with the face so i'll come to the lower part of the body and try to clean up or remove these blemishes from uh, the shoulders and the back of the model so just take your time and if at all you're enjoying this and haven't hit the like button simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel so just support the channel by dropping a like on this very video so i think we are almost done with removing the pimples and the blemishes so after retouching this is what we have been able to achieve in just less than 10 minutes and you can see across the group before after before after hoping you have understood frequency separation from the start to the end and right now let's save the image so it doesn't change in color when we post it on social media or when we print it out so simply come right here to file export export as and it's going to open up the export window right here and make sure you select the format to jpeg and the quality all the way to the highest quality make sure you set the sample to by cubic sharper so that photoshop adds that tiny sharpening to the image and make sure you embed color profile and these two options are checked and simply hit export and you locate where you want to save the image and after hit save and your photo is going to be saved so this is how you can easily learn and understand skin retouching using frequency separation from the very start to the very end and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating